Let me, Mom. <laughs> Thank you, McGill. Mama, it's for your own good. I don't want to talk about it, Luis. But you can save money on the mortgage every month, money you can use for your retirement fund. I already told you, I will not take your father's name off the deed. But it's the only way that you can refinance the mortgage. Have your husband declared dead or divorce him. No. Why in the world would you sacrifice your own security for a man who abandoned you and this family? Or is dead? He didn't abandon us. Papa would never do that. He loved us. I know he's alive. I know it in my heart. You can light all the candles you want, Mama. He's not coming home. Yes, he will. Stop it, Louise. Can't you see you're upsetting Mama? I'm sorry, Mama. I don't want to hurt you. I just want what's best for you. I know, Louise. I know you mean well. But your father, he was a good man. And I don't like to hear you speak ill of him. I still remember the last day I saw him. He left for work at Crane Industries in the morning. He kissed me goodbye. He told me he loved me and I never saw him again. No one did. He didn't even report to work. Luis, didn't you try to find him when you became a cop? Yeah. I questioned workers at Crane Industries. I even questioned some executives. No one knew anything. The Cranes destroy anyone they come in contact with. I won't let them hurt anyone else in this family.